Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the draw for the uh, places to the rail for the uh, Qatar Arc de Triomphe. This will be the eighth edition for the Arabian World Cup. I'd like to start by inviting uh, the uh, chairman of France Gallo, Mr. Belanguier. Would you please join me here on the stage? Good morning. Uh, Mr. Benagier, good morning, Liz. Thank you very much. Thank you all for being here for this uh, important event. This will be the starting point for the weekend. We're going to draw the places uh, to the rail. There will be a lot of enthusiasm uh, reigning here. We will know in a few seconds uh, whether there still are 18 horses uh, running for the Qatar uh, Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. And ever since 1920, date at which the uh, race was created, when uh, a horse uh, who has already won twice is going to try and win for the third time. This is a huge challenge. It has never happened, never been done before. And Trev will be facing this challenge. We're extremely happy that this is going to take place here. She will not be on her own on the track, obviously. And we're very happy that this uh, race has attracted so many quality horses so that uh, the other horses uh, will be there to make life difficult for Trev. There will also be the Qatar Arabian World Cup. To this year, there will be 20 horses running and we're very happy that the uh, success of this uh, race will increase. All uh, our uh, foreign guests with, who have come sometimes for a very long distance to attend this presentation. So thank you very much and a great weekend to all of you. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Obviously, everybody is waiting for this moment, so we're going to start without further ado. That is, if you agree. But because we're going to perform the draw, we need somebody with an innocent hand. We have an athlete with us. She's a football player, and she belongs to the PSG team and the uh, French team, Laure Boulot. Thank you for being here. Donc, Laure, vous êtes footballeuse. So you're a soccer player, Laure. Tell us, tell us about yourself. How long have you been playing for the PSG, Paris Saint-Germain? What are you doing right now? Well, good morning, everybody. I'm very happy to be here with you today. Yes, I play soccer, and I've been in the Paris Saint-Germain team for 10 years, but I'm also a member of the French national team. I have been capped 70 times. And I'm very happy. We just came back from the World Cup. Uh, we got, uh, we were eliminated in quarterfinals by Germany. Not a very nice memory, obviously, but uh, we felt that all of France was cheering for us, and uh, there was a very uh, good spirit. What about horse uh, racing? Have you ever attended horse races on a horse track? Yes, of course. I've been lucky. I have. Uh, Witnessed races in Auteuil and Longchamp. The PMU is the partner of uh, Paris Saint Germain. And uh, I'm uh, also a fan of uh, the champion Treve. I follow her on social networks. There is a uh, Follow Treve uh, website dedicated to her. So I'm going to hope she wins it for the third time. Well, you're going to help us with the draw, but in order to for, you, for us to understand the process, I'd like Monsieur François Boulac manager of the France Gallo program to uh, join us here to explain how this is going to be organized. Could you please tell us about the draw? How is it going to work? Well, it's very simple, really. We're going to start. I won't move, I promise. We're going to draw the horses. And once we have the name of the horse, Laure will draw a ball on the other side, and she will get the number. And then somebody from the horse's uh, team will possibly come up here and make a few uh, comments. Should we start? Laure, you start. 
Wait, 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 no. It's the horse first. The horse is here. We start with the horse. Tac, donc. On a changé. changé. C'est bien que vous êtes là. <laughs> okay, they've been switched apparently. New Bay. New Bay. Et nous avons Claude Beniada qui représente. Claude Beniada is here to represent New Bay's team. <laughs> Alors, Yubé, qui est le gagnant du Yubé Jockey Club. Yubé won the Jockey Club this year. Un moment anxieux, là. Alors. Suspense. Number five. Yubé, number five. Claude, le 5, c'est un monument Is this a good number? Well, François should answer because he has the statistics on how many horses have won with number five. It's uh, three horses uh, with number five have won the uh, Arc de Triomphe, Bago, and Seabird as well. I mean, Seabird is a famous winner of the uh, Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. So you're happy. Okay, next. Spirit Gym. For Spirit Gym, we have Mr. Jean-Jacques Tailleb representing his team. Two hands. Spirit Gene, number 18. Well, one horse won with number 18, alleged. One of the two editions when he won the uh, Arc de Triomphe was with number 18. Well, there's nothing we can do. We'll do our best. Laure, can you draw the next? Manatee. Manatee. Lisa Jane Gaffar representing uh, the Godolphin uh, Racing Stable. Manatee won the Grand Prix de Chantilly this year. He's a long distance horse. Number one. Zarkava won with number one. And number one won twice in the Arc de Triomphe over the last 50 years. Jane, what do you think? Well, not the best draw, I must say, but we'll do our best. We'll go for it. Thank you very much. Shall we continue? Siligen Saga. Siligen Saga. Emmanuel Tassin will draw the number. Siligen Saga won the Deauville Grand Prix in 2015. Ran in the Arc de Triomphe last year. She had drawn a very high number to the outside, so we'll see what happens this year. Number seven. Seven is a lucky number. It's really a lucky number. Six horses have won the Arc de Triomphe with number seven. It is the highest ranking number on with another number that I haven't uh, disclosed yet. Last year, you were way to the outside. Yes, last year I was very unlucky and I uh, got number 16. So this year, number seven, it's much better. And uh, I'm very happy and I hope there will be a seventh winner with number seven this year. Shall we continue? Trev. Trev needs no introduction. We have uh, 
an extraordinary challenge here. Trev will be ridden by Thierry Jarnet, of course. Eight. Workforce, one with number eight, uh, and two horses, one with number eight. It's the best we could have hoped for. It's perfect. What's your impression in English? Do you know how English viewers? Yes. <laughs> I think it's a good draw. Obviously, in the middle, you can see where the, the early speed is, and she's obviously close to new base. So always good to have the good ones around you. Très bien, c'est vrai. C'est bien d'avoir ces. Yes, of course, it's very uh, good that she should be near her biggest uh, opponent. Number eight for Trev. Erupt. Stéphane Pasquier, the jockey, is with us. He is the Grand Prix de Paris winner. Same uh, distance, same track. And Stéphane Pasquier is here to uh, draw the right number. Stéphane has already uh, won the arc with uh, Rail Link. Number four. Stéphane, is that a good number? As Rupert was saying, it's very good to be close to the opponents. I didn't know, I didn't know what to expect, but number four is, is fine. I'm happy. Number four has won three times. Recently, Ray Link, ridden by yourself. So, lucky number. Let's move on. Shaha. Shaha is actually Trev's leader. Shaha is going to make sure that the race goes at a regular pace right from the beginning. And Shaha will be starting from uh, number two. And number two is the other lucky number because uh, number two has won the race six times. Difficult this time because the horse is a leader, but well, it's it's a, it's fine because it's much better for us if we have a number, a small number. And Shaha is used to being leader for other good horses, so I hope um, she does her best. She'll be ridden by Grégory Benoit. Silver Wave. Silver Wave. Jean-Jacques Tailleb. Same uh, trainer, same trainer. Alain Quetil. And H Spirit is the owner. Silver Wave in second in the Niel, Prix de Niel, number 17. <laughs> tough luck, tough luck. Both horses very close together, but this 17 was Sagasse's number, so, you know, you never know. Found the Irish horse uh, trained by uh, Patrick O'Brien, and we have uh, somebody from her team. Found is a three-year-old filly. Very good performances this year. She was second in the Irish Thousand Guineas, uh, come with some stakes and Irish champion stakes. And she has uh, number 15. Allez France uh, won with that number. Trev had number 15 the first time she won. So four times horses have won with number 15. So OK, fine. We'll go for it. Frine. 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 You pronounce, it's pronounced Frine. I don't think we have anyone from the team, so Laure will choose a number. 
Please make sure it's a lucky draw. Freenay had won last year the uh, Prix Royaleu on the same day, uh, number six. Uh, the last time a horse won with number six was Solimia, and three horses have won the Arc de Triomphe, Qatar Arc de Triomphe with uh, number six. Eagle Top, trained by John Gostin, and Versant Vernet is here to represent the, the horses' team. Came second in the King George's state this summer. Very good horse, although a bit older. English horse. Number three. Four horses have won, starting from uh, number three, Alleged, and Trev uh, once. Are you happy? Yes, quite. Thank you very much. Shall we move on? Golden Horn. He should have said, this year's uh, English champion, he won the derby, uh, the Epsom derby, and he was recently supplementus, his list, and he also won the Irish champion stakes. Number 14 to the outside, but 14 has won four times, especially with Dalekani in uh, recent years. Well, we'll just have to... Uh, do our best, but there's no reason it shouldn't work. Thank you. Tapestry, a filly trained by uh, Edna O'Brien, four-year-old. Mathieu Regard uh, did not flinch and Pull the ball immediately. It's number nine. Tapestry is a filly, a four-year-old filly from Ireland, number nine. Number nine has won once. It was Urban Sea, Galileo's mother, Dam. And Tapestry is uh, herself uh, a daughter of Galileo, so uh, history continues. Thank you, Laure. Dolmia. Dolmia. Another filly. I don't think there's anyone to represent Dolmia's team. Dolmia belongs to His Highness Yaga Khan. Dolmia won the Shema Classic uh, in Dubai. Very good uh, filly. She's always among the uh, best horses in uh, many. Races. She's Flynn Shire's uh, rival. She uh, draws number 13. 13 won once with one more ridden by Freddy Head many years ago. Monté par Christophe Soumignon, bien sûr. To be ridden by Christophe Soumignon, of course. Melia Gross, Melia Gross, who is. Uh, Third representative from the Alan Quittil team. It's an uh, older horse. Please come up here. No, not very many possibilities, actually. Number 16, the three horses of your team, of your table, will be together. Number 16 was Carol House's number when uh, it won. So it's going to be complicated. Well, it's well not very easy, but it, everything is possible, isn't it? We have only three numbers, three horses and numbers left. Flinchai. Claude Benyana, please, no. Donc, 
Number 11, and number 11 was the Safra number at the draw. Two are left. Free Eagle trained in Ireland by Dermot Vell, and uh, Lloyd, he will have to draw. He won the Prince of Wales in Ascot. It's an excellent older horse. Will be awarded number 12, um, which won once with Suave Dancer. And then uh, suspense for the end. Prince Gibraltar, Prince Gibraltar, trained by Jean-Claude Rouget, who won the Baden-Baden Grand Prix in September this year. And he got uh, number 10, number 10, which uh, won four times, uh, in particular with Monjeu, and it's a good number. So, the 94 edition, 94th edition of the Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe uh, has just been drawn, as you can see on the screen. Of course, a trev uh, is quite uh, popular, and many, many people would like, well, I'm, I'm interested in what she's going to do. She's got number eight. What do you think of it, Monsieur Boulin? Well, all numbers have, uh, are winners' numbers, let us say, with more or less favorable places, of course. But uh, the race is going to take place on, a good, on good ground. Uh, good to soft, uh, bon souple in French, and uh, it will uh, step by step go towards good until next Sunday with uh, some cloudy moments over the weekend, but uh, nice temperature, 20 degrees, no risks of rain or showers, let us say. This, they will be the best technical possible conditions with exceptional horses for an exceptional race. It's a very high rating for all those horses, slightly higher than in the previous years, I must say. So I think we have uh, all the best possibilities to have a magnificent uh, race. Uh, we are all looking very much forward to it, certainly. Thank you very much, Monsieur Boulard, for your help. But we have uh, another draw to celebrate. It's uh, the uh, next edition of the Qatar Arabian World Cup with 20 runners. It's a very prestigious race indeed with runners from the world over. And it's, uh, we are going now to proceed to the draw of uh, this Qatar Arabian World Cup. We are waiting for numbers to arrive here. And I would like to ask Mr. Nasser Sheri Halkabi, who is the managing director of the Qatar Racing and Christian Club, the CREC. Hello, microphone for you. Nasser, we are all very excited about this race. 20 runners and some very good horses. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody that's here today. Um, we have a nice field, and uh, we wish all the best to everybody. Uh, we have uh, Sir Benyas, who's going for the Triple Crown uh, Dream, and we wish him <laughs> best of luck. Also, all the Qatari owners and uh, trainers that uh, participate in this race, and everybody that's in this race, we wish you all best of luck. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup, Nasser. Nasser, do you want to stay here, up here, when, when we do this? Okay. So, we'll, we'll put this here. And we start with the draw. Voilà. Donc, uh, comme tout à l'heure, le cheval. So, first, the horse. Calino. 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 Who is uh, owned by Sheikh Abdullah bin Al Thani, trained by Albin de Mule. Please, Albin, come up to us. Ah. 
Quel numéro c'est alors <rire> Tout le monde va être. Le, le 8. It's not bad. Number 8. It's not bad, Alban has just said. Number 8 is all right for you. All numbers are good. Uh, as soon as the race is a great race. Inshallah. Thank you very much. Let's proceed. Safe enough. Trained by Jean Michelides. And I think there is no representative from the team of the horse. Law, please. Le, le 17, absolument, le 17 pour Seifina. Merci, Laure. Donc, euh, j'ai du travail. Hein, je... Oui. <rire> On s'entraîne. Ah. Sir Banias. Sir Banias. Now, Nasa, Sir Banias, very important horse. Yes, I think he's uh, going for the Tipper Crown and he's an important horse uh, for uh, we and we welcome him to come to Qatar for the third uh, leg also. Oui, justement ce cheval qui a déjà remporté la première étape de la Triple Couronne, euh, donc un cheval très important. Nous n'avons pas de représentant ici, donc euh, la main innocente. Ah Numéro 1. L'As pour Sir Banias, euh, qui est entraîné aujourd'hui par euh, Elisabeth Bernard. Vetlana de Faust. Vetlana de Faust, et, euh, qui est entraîné euh, par M. Gazali. <rire> et. Est-ce que nous n'avons nous pas de représentant ici Donc, allez-y. Le 19. Le 19. Très à l'extérieur, mais pas impossible. Samina. Samina. Et je pense que nous avons un représentant des écuries royales de Oman, euh, Mohamed Al-Hashimi. <rire> no pressure. <rire> Ten. Donc, in the middle. Is that okay? That's okay. I think there will be only one winner. Let's hope so. So, donc, euh, le numéro 10, on continue. So, number 10. Let's go on. Lucky Sand. Lucky Sand. Lucky Sand. Trained by Georges Michalides. Please, Lord, draw the number. Seven. Seven. Number seven. Just uh, inside, clo a little closer to the rail. Majid. 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 A horse trained by Albin de Miel. Once more. Le douze. Le douze. Number 12. Bon. Are you happy? Yes. Inshallah. Andassa. Andassa. 
trained in France by François Rowe. Law, please, draw the number. Handus has number for the place at the rails. Number three. Mouafak, pardon. Hal Mouafak. Mouafak. We have somebody from the horses team here with us. Ok, on aime bien les gens heureux. <laughs> Le 16. We're, we're happy if you are happy. Khadati, written by Hadri de Fries from London. And Lord, please draw Pradati's number for the place of the rails. Eleven. Number eleven. Gazwan. One of three, two, two horses trained by Julian Smart, and Alexandra Newman is here with us. Hello. Number 13. Should be a lucky number. Actually, it's my day of my brother's birthday, Alexandra says. Abar. Trained by Julian Smart, so please, Laura, there's nobody from the host team. Would you like to come? There's one more horse from your team. Number five. She's happy. Jet Tawi and Mohamed El Ashmi is going to proceed to the draw. Number 20. It's okay. Un petit peu déçu quand même. You're a little disappointed, aren't you? Was that number, which is really the, on the outside of the of the whole field? Laura. 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 Also trained by Elizabeth Bernard. <coughs> Number 15, who ran in Newbury in Great Britain. Al Murtajez. Rupert Pitcher Gordon, please. Number six. Are you happy? It's yes. It's okay. Uh, that horse loves 
going in the front part of the race, so it's okay. Well, we're happy with this small number. Muheb. Jean-Pierre Derogui, please. He represents the horse's team. Number two. It's a good number for you. Well, I am very happy that the horse uh, is happy to start. And uh, last year he could not participate because he, he would have been number 21 last in the rating, possible rating. So I'm very happy to be here this year. Well, we are left with a few numbers now. Shahaba, trained by Monsieur Vatrigan. Push and turn. Number 14, What's, well, what's important is to take part in the race, isn't it? We're happy with this number. So we're left with three horses now concerning the Qatar Arabian World Cup. Vulcan du Clos. Oman Royal Stables and Marchandé Stables. Number four. You're very happy. You're smiling, aren't you? So it's, it's better than 18, isn't it? <laughs> ah. Jenka de Forge, who won uh, the same race last year, Alexander Newman. Well, you know the numbers that are left, so. Number nine, it's a good draw, isn't it? Do you think she will be able to, she's able to win this year? Yes, we'll do our best for that, yes. So the last horse uh, to be drawn, last runner in the Qatar Arabian World Cup. It's, it's TM Thunderstruck and uh, Alban. Number eight. Oh. Number eight. <laughs> so, we, uh, is how, uh, all numbers are important for uh, trainers. It's uh, number 18. And uh, what's important is, is the race to be um, well, to take place. I mean, uh, as long as there is no interference at the beginning or during the race, it, it's all right. So you have to find your place. Sometimes you are close to the rails and you cannot get out of it. So you see, it's, I think every horse has a good possibility. And uh, inshallah. Yes, Nasa, I think we wish everyone good luck, uh, good luck for the race on, on Sunday. Yes, we, we hope uh, all could have a great race and we wish all the best yes. to everybody. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup, Nasser. Laure. Uh... Thank you very much. Thank you, Nasser. Thank you, Laure, for your presence and your help. And uh, I wish you the best in uh, your career, your uh, soccer project. And I, I hope you will have a, a nice day on Sunday at the races. And thank you very much to everyone. Thank you for your attention and have a wonderful weekend. See you later. Goodbye.